Hey, what's up? It's Annika and happy last day of Vlogmas. So I was only doing the first 24 days and it went by so quickly. I'm actually kind of shocked. I thought I would have a tougher time with doing like daily vlogs, but I took a different route. I didn't do every single vlog that was like filmed the day before and then posted the next day. Some of them I did pre-film just because I do work a full-time job and I can't always get a video up and running within 24 hours every time. So I did do a few though. But in this video, I will be going through 20 things I am grateful for this Christmas. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. If you're not new, then you know I'm on a debt-free journey and I'm trying to create a happy and financially free life. So I have so many more finance videos coming. It's kind of insane. And I just posted my 2020 recap of my debt payoff journey. So that was really, really exciting for me. And I am so proud of myself for the progress that I've made this year even with the dumpster fire that is 2020. And I just wanted to like make this video to kind of start practicing more gratitude. I think I have a tendency to be very negative and not show as much gratitude that I like need to. So I just wanted to make like a 20 things I'm grateful for in 2020 because yes, we are in a global pandemic still. And there are so many things that have happened this year that you know, we're not gonna get into, but I am trying to focus on more of the positive things while not discrediting any of the negative things that have happened as well. Got my little list here. I'll get right into it. Number one, my subscribers. I didn't really get serious with YouTube until this year and pretty much late into quarantine is when I really got more into it. I was able to get monetized. I got my first YouTube paycheck and it's just been really exciting for me and I've been really enjoying doing videos and I've been kind of using Vlogmas as a way to almost practice more with editing and style of videos and just figuring out the direction that I want to take this channel in. So it's been really, really great for my personal growth and I've been so happy to share my debt-free journey with you all. And not gonna lie, my subscribers, you right there, definitely keep me really motivated on my debt-free journey because I have to come back with good news. Like I have to document every step of the way. So number two, of course, our healthcare workers. You guys are doing the most. I am so appreciative of anyone and everyone who works in the healthcare industry, especially during this time and for obvious reasons, but I wish our country would do better for you. Number three, our educators. Oh my goodness. All of the Zoom University professors, all of the in-person teachers, like y'all are rock stars. Number four are the activists. Now, this isn't a new movement, but it's definitely a movement that gained a lot of traction, especially when the pandemic started, is the Black Lives Matter movement. It's so important that everyone feel respected and not prejudiced again or their skin color. And this year was definitely a rude awakening for those of us with a lot of privilege that some we don't even realize. And again, it's a movement, not a moment. So I definitely appreciate anyone and everyone speaking up for what they believe in and speaking out and educating others and wanting to, for lack of a better phrase, I guess, make the world a better place. Which is so cliche, but. Number five is of course my family and, and throughout this year they've definitely been very supportive of me especially with my decision to move back home from Orlando, Florida to Portland, Oregon and my dad actually flew out and drove across the country with me and helped me move all of my crap back home so I'm just so incredibly grateful for them and, and could not be where I am today without them. Number six are my friends. I... I'm so lucky to have the amazing people in my life that I do and today actually one of my best friends from high school she just sent me this amazing like matching sweatsuit and it's it's the things it just brings me so much serotonin but I know that I have a handful of people that I could call at any given moment and they would provide me the support that I so desperately needed and I appreciate them so much. And especially if you're watching this, then you know I appreciate you and you know who you are. Number seven is my job and my team. I have mentioned this in pretty much every other video that I'm so grateful to have kept my job this year. And it's obviously a large reason why I was able to pay off so much debt and move forward in kind of my, my plan and with my goals. So I work with great people. I love my manager and 
I just am very fortunate to be in the position that I am and I am so 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 thankful number eight are my goals so kind of going back into what I was just talking about how I am so grateful to be in this position and able to set these goals and achieve them and push even further with my goal setting so definitely cannot complain there number nine my health so I did have some health issues earlier this year and it's just kind of like an ongoing fiasco and i'm still getting medical bills in from july of earlier this year so that's fun um i won't go too much into detail about that but i mean i'm grateful to to be relatively in good health number 10 is vice president kamala harris no matter your political views having the first vice president woman in the white house is historical monumental and incredible in so many ways number 11 is tiktok i mean come on who hasn't been scrolling on that thing every day all day since the beginning of quarantine at least <laughs> number 12 is wi-fi um i think without the internet especially during quarantine i would have gone mad like more mad than I actually did but it also allowed me to connect with so many more people than I ever thought I could which I'm especially thankful for this year number 13 my virtual Instagram friends I have found such an amazing community especially on my second Instagram page Annika's paintbrush which is geared toward more of like a Disney lifestyle and Disney style and all of that good stuff but I've met some amazing people through that account and there's so many people who I haven't actually met in person but I feel like I have because we chat all the time in our messages and we're always responding to each other's stories and I feel like we all provide great support for one another which I am so grateful for number 14 the toxic people who have left my life thank you next number 15 are the Starbucks holiday drinks I don't know what it is and I don't know why the drinks provide me so much serotonin but they just do i used to work for starbucks and i honestly just like love them as a company and love their drinks and all that and i did a video on an ex starbucks barista taste all the holiday drinks so if you want to check that out you can go watch that i'll link it above number 16 is goodwill um i did a little bit of thrifting within goodwill this year but i'm also just grateful that if you saw my declutter with me video that I had piles and piles and piles of clothes that I am just purging and getting rid of and I'm hoping that they can find a second home but I'm so grateful that we have places where we can just literally dump crap that we don't want and one man's trash is another man's treasure so uh, kind of random but wanted to put it in there number 17 peppermint vodka um I'm definitely not an alcoholic i promise i have just become like a wannabe bartender and i really enjoy making fun cocktails and i actually did another video on that on um holiday cocktails in another vlogmas video which i'll link above but i just really enjoy it i love seeing the kind of different concoctions i can come up with number 18 is dave ramsey and i know that one is a little bit controversial because he is very polarizing and some of his methods can be argued against and i can agree with that but i think finding his radio show and his teachings and listening to him give advice to other people really helped me along on my debt-free journey and for that i'm so grateful so really he helped me jumpstart this journey that i'm on and i don't know that i could have made it this far without kind of starting from learning from his baby steps that he provides um, if you don't know who he is he's just like a financial guru guy and he provides seven baby steps to gain financial freedom and peace and he has books and radio shows and youtube and podcasts and all this information basically just look him up you'll find it <laughs> number 19 is literally just entertainment but hamilton coming to disney plus i never did see it in person and i didn't really know what all the hype was about because i never listened to the soundtrack because i don't like to listen to soundtracks of things before i've seen them when it comes to movies or musicals or anything like that because i don't like to spoil the surprise like i need to see the full thing to fully enjoy it but I became obsessed with Hamilton this year, as well as Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift's new albums this year. Hello. Amazing. And finally, number 20 is coffee. I think I had at least two coffees a day. 
since the beginning of quarantine especially when i was working over the summer on my side hustles when i was working 75 plus hours a week just on my like two actual main jobs that wasn't including doing things for instagram or youtube and creating content in general on the side so i was a busy busy gal and coffee really got me through it but there you have it 20 things i'm grateful for in the year of 2020 the dumpster fire year that will go down in major history but i really just wanted to like i said share some gratitude in this video and kind of practice more positivity if you will because i want to push myself to be less negative and spread more positivity so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you agreed with anything that I listed, please comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. But thank you so much for watching. And I won't see you in the next Vlogmas video, but the next video I will see you in are my normal videos. <laughs> but some videos that I have coming out that are very exciting are my 2020 debt payoff mistakes. I want to kind of list out things I would do differently. My January budget with me, my 2021 financial goals, and so much more. So definitely stay tuned for those. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.